What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. How are you doing? And I hope you enjoyed yesterday's very travelly vlog. There was not many supercars, although I did manage to get a Maserati in that I spotted in Hoboken. Today, I want to start this video pretty much straight after I ended yesterday's video because I want to do a more in-depth tour of this insane route at the W Hoboken, but also check out this incredible view before it goes dark, then get it on camera when it is dark so all of the lights light up. I cannot wait for that. So let's start at the front of the house. Um. So let's start at the front door of this. It's basically, a, it's basically a flat. It's basically an apartment. So this is the front door. And as you walk in, as you can see, I still have left the drag, stip, the drag strip as it is. I could basically do my own VMAX with five Veninos that I've got lined up over there, which would be pretty insane. And then here we have um, a toilet. Where's the light? Oh, here's the light. Here you go. Here is um, a toilet slash bathroom area, and I assume. Um, how do you how do you shut it? How do you shut the door? This isn't a very private toilet. I'm sure it's, this is this slides swiftly. Moving on, or moving swiftly on, we come to the sort of lounge living space where we've got um, an ice bucket for if you were having champagne or something, <laughs> which I definitely won't be having. Um, we've got the bar where we've got some Jack Daniels, we've got some vodka. Uh, oh, we can basically make cocktails here. We've also got gin, which is horrible. And here, the W have kindly decorated this room in a very supercar or automotive feel, as you saw yesterday, with the drag strip and the Lamborghini Veninos dropping about, dropping about all over the room. Um, huge thank you to the W Hoboken for doing this. I mean, this is um, not what I was expecting. This is just incredible. Um, we've got like an office space here. We've got some pretty awesome sound system there. The view is by far the best bit about it. It's raining at the moment, um, but we've got the TV. TV living space here, um, sort of a L-shaped sofa here, and then this is going to be brave. It's windy and rainy, and there's helicopters flying all of the time, and it's freezing on my feet. I'm barefoot. We've got a helicopter up there somewhere, and you can tell that it's windy and rainy. Getting rained on. There's another helicopter coming over there, and I'm, yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting rained on. I'm getting rained on. It was a bad move to go out in the rain with barefoot. And then through here, we've got the master bedroom area and also the bathroom, which I have used to freshen myself up after a six or seven hour plane, seven hour plane journey. And it got delayed as well. So this is the cool little W Hotel bathroom. The reason why I said W Hotel is because I saw this and it got in my head, W Hotel, on the dressing gown. And let's turn that off. And then here we go, this is the sort of master bedroom, which, as you can see, I have lied on the extra pillows that I was given to me at the end of yesterday's video. I've just been watching some ESPN, <laughs> very American, watching some baseball, which is really cool. And that is basically it. So it's night time, and you can see me in the reflection as we look out to the beautiful skyline that we've got of New York, and you can see the Empire State Building. I'm not sure whether you can. It's actually glowing pink because it's the Breast Cancer Awareness Month here in New York, and I think maybe all around the world as well. I'm not entirely too sure. So what we're going to do is going to go out to the balcony um, and hopefully get a better view of the incredible skyline that I have here at the hotel. <laughs> It's going to be windy. Good morning guys and girls and welcome back to day two of me being in New York and there is the view. It's pretty grey but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to enjoy myself and apparently the winds are picking up and also it's been raining overnight.
good morning. Almost certain that yesterday was good afternoon. That's pretty cool. So we're now going to Times Square. Never been before, and it's raining. Badly. I'm gonna, no, 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 I'm just gonna chuck this in the vlog with music over it, so. Get this up. Oh, yes. So good. <laughs> We have made it back to the New Jersey side of New York and it's windy, it's rainy, and it's now getting dark. I'm heading back to the hotel, just about with this umbrella on. This is how I'm walking. This is my view. This is my point of view. I've never been so pleased to see the hotel. This is going mad. Okay. It did not take long for that to happen. Please look here at the hotel. Look at it. did not take long for the umbrella to unfortunately break. The weather out there is unbelievable and the wind is ferocious. That is what happened to my umbrella after I changed direction for about two seconds. Weather outside is not great. However, I woke up this morning at around 5 a.m. So my jet lag is still there. I'm still on the UK time here or there, here or there. Um, the bad news is my vlogging camera that I tried to take with me last night, you click the on button and it does not work. <sighs> and I can only put that down to the dreadful weather that was in New York yesterday. I was walking around filming, trying to get that whole sort of New York vibe and atmosphere, which is just utter chaos, utter chaos. And 
I don't know whether water's got in the camera or whatever it is, but unfortunately it doesn't seem to be turning on, which is frustrating me. So I'm using my other camera, which isn't a bad thing. Um, and to summarise yesterday, um, how could I summarise yesterday? Pretty disastrous, if I'm honest. We tried to go to Times Square, we tried to do lots of stuff. The traffic was dreadful. Apparently it's the end of the UN week where there's really important people. They basically close off half the roads in New York. You can't get out, you can't get in. We tried walking around, but everyone's walking around. It was pouring with rain, so there was umbrellas everywhere. And it was an absolute disaster. So what you saw just now is a real failed attempt at doing anything in New York City. Okay, this is how tired I am. There's the battery for that. <laughs> Jesus.